it. High match at the drop. Double oh. gen pop to avoid the deadlock. Oh. They do go down. There is a haste status effect. You gotta be careful here. The hatch is going to spawn momentarily. Deadheart could get them the distance to get it too. Smart Ooh, shot. Really smart play on the ace. Oh, oh, oh my god, getting shot through the window. No longer have distortion. And they are gonna teleport here. I think they get there in time. <gasps> yes! Oh, oh, the yes! What? Oh, 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 this is that is disappointing. This is be a four man out because yeah but they will be able to oh, block yeah. this <laughs> yo getting caught on that Dude. ace coming with the oh body block though. oh they oh. were here hey what is up guys it's Guild Spire here, and welcome back to Champions of the Fog. And today, I am joined by Avi. How are you doing today? Hi, I almost said good morning, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's morning, morning for you. It's morning for you. Afternoon. <laughs> I'm doing good. And I'm actually always happy to be here. So I'm excited for the games. I'm always really happy to be here. So I am. I, you know what? Let's just get into it. I, just, I can't even talk right now. I can't English. <laughs> well, you are in luck because your first match of the day is going to be quite a treat. Ruby Wolves versus Modern Retro. And we are oh. starting off strong with the judge, the jury, the executioner himself. Oh. And he is on the prowl for a survive of the chase. Oh, that is a... Oh, how does that... Oh, okay. I was trying to see how his... Uh, what is that thing called again? Oh, my God. My brain's not working. Hex totem? No, the oh, well, that too, but the <laughs> the corrupt no the the, the corrupt perk. Oh my god, corrupt, corrupt. you know what? I can't. I, why am I corrupt here? Why, why did you why did you let me host? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough coffee this morning, but don't worry. This match will certainly get your blood flowing as we are off to our first chase of the match with the Claudette trying desperately to uh -oh. get the initial hit in here. Unfortunately, oh. though, not able to get the punishment of the damned in time, and Claudette will make a little bit of distance while all the while getting tormented. Heck yeah, that is a oh, she escaped. Oh, there. She escaped with the heat, let her go. And, you know, oh. definitely think a bit of a drop of chase for mm. sure. And okay. it looks like now we are on the Atom. However, that there is a ruin out of the game. That and is the question how, yep. is, what other perks are available to the Pyramid Head? Well, Pyramid Head has... Pyramid Head is... Uh, a lot of my, obviously, video, we're not going to see Tinkerer going on in this game. But I see that a lot in my games. But I know that in this comp universe, a lot of perks can work with him. So that's, yeah. I think that's the fun of the mystery. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. There are definitely a time and place where Tinker had its moments oh. in Comp Dead by Daylight, but definitely has not been seen for quite oh. some time. Right, right. Well, there you go. The first uh, Mac of the game is Megan. Yeah, good hit there on the mag. Now using this column tile. Looks like maybe a bit of a Ooh. life in play. Pyramid trying to once again bait out the punishment of the dam. They have yet to fire one Ooh. off. They attempted Ooh. there, but no dice on that hit. And with a little bit of distance away from the tile, Pyramid Head wow. is forced to either break pallet or drop chase. And looks mm -hmm. like they are going to continue to the excavator. Oh, wow. Okay, one gen down. Did she wish you vault? She did vault. And the miss. Oh, oh so nice. close there. I want to say that may have been just barely <gasps> off. And a Two second gens. gen now. Oh, no. <laughs> this is making so, well. Holy heck. As a pyramid main, I love what just happened there. Mm -hmm. One little thing people do not pay attention to enough is that pyramid Head can set off their punishment of the damn while they're being stunned by the pallet, and it's just true. prime, prime value to say the least. Very true. And you know what? 
Uh, as beautiful as it can be for a prim, prim head made like yourself, it pisses the rappers off, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I have no <laughs> doubts about that. But so, with that being said, uh, things oh. are not looking great for the pyramid head. A good oh. double hit there. Get in the mm -hmm. hit on Claudette. Proc in the BT on the Meg. And that... looks like they're going to opt to go for the Claudette and do get Ooh. the down very quickly. That gen is almost done as well. So the two gens are already out. There's another one there already. The and the pallet safe. Ooh. I did not hear that. I don't hear any footsteps. Yeah, no, fine. that was that was quite surprising to say the least. I definitely would not have imagined a pallet stun right there. So really good play by the survivors, mm -hmm. slowing down this game for the pyramid head. And I think they're going for the punishment of the damned. And Ooh. they do get it right the before locker. the locker. Holy crap, that was, like, that was actually good. <laughs> yeah, it's good like, plays by both was, sides. Yeah, I have to like really give that one because there were technically now three things that Claudia could have done. They could have vaulted the window, they could have gone for like, you know, the little fake kind of thing, going towards the pallet area, but she went for the locker and the pyramid head did really well getting that hit. Good prediction on the third choices and the deliverance. Yeah, either Deliverance or a Renewal, we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. But either ways, they are tormented and prime for a potential Cage of Atonement. But in the meanwhile, looks like we are going to be in chase with the Nancy. And this is going to be a really close one. And it looks like it oh. will be a hit and a down. Man. So that's, I feel like Prima Head hits. I always remember when he first came out. I would compare him to Doctor in a sense because that kind of reminded me of him. Obviously, the hit, the shocks would be uh, a damage. But that's what it reminded me of. Like that, that's the like Prima Head kind of makes me think how you you play. You have to do a lot of predictions. So it's oh yeah, very absolutely. Admiring. Mm -hmm. Very admiring with the predictions that Prima Head could do. And Claude going for the dead zone ish area. What's the yeah. Path? Claudette coming off a hook, still broken, a potential for a decisive strike, but Pyramid Head mm -hmm. not carrying as they are tormented. And I imagine we see a cage of atonement sent to the other side of the map, but oh. no! Optimum oh, go for up. pick up instead. He didn't need to get, I don't care about the S, I'm putting it on the hook. <laughs> yeah, and this does mean that they are primed and ready for a punishment of the damned immediately off a hook. But in the mm -hmm. meanwhile, this Pyramid Head is going to have to contend with these survivors, cranking out this last generator. Mm hmm How long does the little things last for? The little wire, I forget what they're called, the little, um, when they step into the goo. <laughs> the, the torment? <laughs> yes. I forget off the, the top of my head what that looks like as far as time is concerned. For the most part, you know, it, it lasts a little bit, but not too, too long. So? It always feels like it takes, like, it feels like it takes, like, two minutes tops, so for me at least. Yeah, that definitely, definitely consult the wiki on that one, but Pyramid <laughs> trying desperately to apply a little bit of pressure here, trying to determine between going for the Claudette and pressuring mm. this gen here. Adam just cat and mousing it back and forth, getting a lot of value here, keeping this Pyramid busy. This game has... I They already have one gen. I didn't even notice when they did another gen. This team is efficient with these... Uh, Jen, so good on them on that part, but this Prima Head, I'm sorry, Prima Head, you can tell he's going to do his best. Oh, that's a haste. That is That a haste. is indeed a haste satisfactory. We all know what that means, that there is Noed. The magical perk of Noed. Oh. Yeah, and Adam's going to be feeling this soon if he's not able to get to this pallet and does fake it out. Unfortunately, that will be the down, and that is the announcement of mm -hmm. Noed to the rest of these fires. <gasps> However, just as, as quickly uh, as it got into the game, as quickly as it is gone. Oh, you know, you know what I love when I when you're doing a tour, I'm just just minding your own business, and then it just lights up out of nowhere. You're like, oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> just a little, just a little. And as we saw the Claudette with the deliverance earlier, it looks like Adam will be placed on the hook and potentially left to die. Mm. The pyramid kind of going out here quite far to potentially pressure these other survivors. But if they are not too careful, a survivor will sneak up behind them. Yep. The Hathakids. I noticed one was kind of close to the Lokish. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see. I see. All right. What? They're decent, but not too close. Not close enough. He could potentially get somebody else down if he can't get Adam again. 
potentially. This is true. We hear mm. that exit gate open. I imagine that one is the closest one to the hook. We see the survivors coming in yep. for the unhook, trying to uh -oh. get the four man out. Pyramid had been smart though, priming their power. Will get the hit only on the oh. claw dead though, not on the Adam as well. So BT still in effect. Pyramid is oh. going to have to use their punishment of the dam, Ooh. though they are able to get the down on the claw yep. dead. And looks like that will be the most they get for the 1k6 yeah. hook. Mm -hmm. And that will be that. That is a good, uh, I mean, it's a good add-on when I get to see it. I mean, assuming it's an add-on, right? Where he, he's the, and the yeet, the mori, the little tiny little mori. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was saying about the, about the, the, the little add-on that makes him put his sword into the, into the floor really fast. That's an add-on, right? Uh, nope, it's, it's that faster. is nope? not an add-on. We see here, Tablet wow. of the Presser increased maximum duration for Rites of Judgment, as well as increased range from the Burning Man painting. I mean, honestly, you can pretty much prime and fire off your Punishment of the Damned almost mm -hmm. instantaneously, very much similar to the timing of Deathslinger. It's why I do oh. really love uh, Pyramid Head's abilities, and as diverse as they are. Right, okay, yeah, it looked fast to me. I don't know why, I guess, but... Okay, good to know. Yeah, I always felt like it, it, it sh I always felt like that looked really fast, at least for me in this round. Unless I'm just slow, my eyes are slow, and the hits just normal. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough, fair <laughs> enough. Well, with that being said, we are going to be switching sides here now, and this time, Rewolves will be killing for hmm. this set number one. This time, though, we are going to be looking at the Huntress. So oh, very so interested to see what this match looks like. But before we jump on in, we're going to take a quick break. As a reminder, here at Champions of the Fog, we do not have a sponsor. So all the ads that you watch, all the bits that you tip, all the subs that you buy, all go to the production of Champions of the Fog in our $525 prize pool. So with that being said, we'll take a quick break, have these ads run for you, and we will be back shortly.
All right, and we are back once again with Ruby Wills versus Modern Retro trial number two, 16 points to 15, a close match to say the least. And with that being said, we are going to be seeing the Huntress on the Wreckers Yard. Which oh. team will come out on top for set number one? What are your thoughts, Avi? I am, oh goodness, I cannot, I can't vote with the teams, right, honestly, because both teams can do fantastic, really. But I'm just focused and excited about being Huntress match. I don't remember when I last watched one on here since I started shoutcasting, so that's what I'm excited for right now. But honestly, these teams just surprise me every time that so, is fair that uh, is fair yes but i'm it, excited for hunters game yes let's do this personally i love hunters on this map i think this probably hunters is one of her best maps by far especially if you're able to get some basement hooks i'm actually surprised when we don't see agitation on huntress builds on this map but only time will tell is this a basement huntress are we going Ooh. for those cheeky long shots mm-hmm well, I, I, those, I, I actually use those animals myself. I don't know if you were playing at the time when Machine Gun Huntress was a thing uh, long ago. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, machine gun, machine gun hunter is still very much a thing with Babushka Okaft, so right, it, it right. is still very much alive. Which I'm surprised not to see here. I'm surprised to see that infantry <laughs> belt instead. Right, right. Yeah, because like when she was when she was like actually like machine machine gun, that was like it was crazy. But she's still very viable for sure. Here we go. We find a first person right now. What is this? Mrs. And Jake? This is a pretty tight tile here. Jake being oh. very patient there not to drop the pallet, going for that vault there, potentially a life play, but looks like Huntress is going to not, Ooh. yeah, they're going to drop Chase. I was like, are they going to mm. drop? Are they not going to drop? I don't know, but looks like they did find a survivor here out in the open. So this here will be the first hit of the match and, and it is on Jukebox. Mm -hmm. We got to corrupt that stole up a little bit. What is it? It's a minute, right? For corrupt. So that's, that's the case. Yeah, it's seconds? two yeah. minutes worth two of minutes. time. Oh. And so oh, we're about oh. a minute, 30 seconds into this match. And we are coming up to the end of that. Looks oh. like Hunter's oh. trying to <laughs> box out the Zarina. Unfortunately, taking the throw a little bit early. And oh. we are going to do a little bit of ring around Rosie here on mm. this car pile. Oh, no. Yeah, this, this, this is a... Uh, the hitboxes on this car pile. Oof. And the pallet to the base. Oh, we got a little bit of a fast kick there. Brutal strength. All right. Yes, indeed. I wonder yeah. if the Spires will be taking note of that as these resources are going to be less and less mm -hmm. effective. Huntress, though, trying to go for the M2 there, knowing they aren't able to get the M1. This survivor, though, not dropping it oh. the first time, but will the second. And Huntress, keen to that idea, will get the first down of this match. They try to. I love the, the little crouching because it does work. The crouching uh, dodges do work, but hey, if you lo if you're able to throw it at, at a perfect angle, you will still get them. Like that happened right now. So there we go. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> and it looks like that there is also a scourge hook pain resonance. Unfortunately, ah. not doing much as that is another mm. gen, a separate one from the pain res gen that got popped off. I mean that this gen over here, as the hunters is now aware, is very close to being oh. completed. And that is three generators down. Yeah, there was no totem shown. The, there was no hex ruins. So she only had corrupted to rely on. So unfortunately, that's out. So the gens could fly at this moment. She can't catch any more people. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, and these <laughs> these survivors playing to a T. I mean, this is this is what you need to do against the Huntress is have no fear because the moment you drop that pallet, the moment that you admit defeat in each and every loop. So really great job here by these survivors Ooh. through and through. Yep, for sure. Yeah, they're they're doing pretty dang good because, like I said, Huntress is slow. This poor girl needs a little bit of a slowdown. And when you go against survivors who don't know what they're doing, in this case. These are these people are doing pretty well. So she's trying she needs to, you know, do some magical things right now because two gens down, one hook. But when she kicks pallets pretty damn fast, that's uh, that's one thing. <laughs> yeah, no doubt about that, but one can only kick pallets <clears throat> so many times before these survivors will escape. <laughs> trying to pull off a little bit of a mind game here at the truck, but it will not matter <clears throat> in the long run as Jake is holding W for the win and oh. looking like they will not go for oh. the vault and instead a miss of the hatchet. 
they are, I love the fast reflexes of these survivors because uh, the hunters can very much, you know, hold the hatchet. Like right here, yeah. They, this is like a zoning mechanic that you could also do. Just zone them out into this little, not the Z wall, anything but the Z wall. <laughs> we, we all know Z wall, strongest <laughs> pallet or tile in the game, and that there is an adrenaline <gasps> on the in. Jake. He is gone and oh, that no. is the last generator this is a huge turnaround for this survivor team and it does seem that a no way out has activated with one stack so that'll be 15 seconds mm. on the board before these nice. survivors are able to escape that was yeah that was a nice hatchet oh into the base he's like ah, i accept my death <laughs> he's just like yeah, go to the basement oh no basement there you go. As, I was about to say, I'm not? surprised they're oh. not going there. Instead, they are going to this tile. It looks like oh. they will be able to get there in time, however, though these survivors are desperately trying to get them off of their shoulder. Hmm. She only has one hatchet. I hope she knows that because... Wait. Oh. Oh, she's going to stop the door. Okay. Just yeah, I actually just realized, is this the yeah. first time Huntress has been even close to needing to reload? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you're right. I don't think I've seen her reload at all. Because she has M1 a couple times. Oh, right, no. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it has been a rough match for the Huntress. Normally, you see a mm -hmm. reload or two here, but because of the way that these survivors are playing, playing very, very aggressive on those tiles and pallets, just not able to get the downs accordingly. We see the exit gate open. We oh. see the hatchet thrown, <laughs> and that there is the down on the ace. That was very well done. <laughs> but that was a player patient on her part. Oh, yeah, and that's the biggest. Department. That's the biggest thing, right? About Huntress is you just need to be patient. And this yep. is a greedy, greedy hook here. But I Very see why greedy. they're doing it. Ooh. Oh, they got it. Oh. They right. do got in time. They have the locker here for the hatches to pick up right away. So smart heads up play there by the Huntress, knowing that they need to reload, but needed mm -hmm. to hook all the while. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, I mean, the. Oh, it's just like right in the middle, just actually right in the middle of both gates. So this could work if they try to get them, but um, you get one person injured. I'm assuming they might be healing them if they want to try for a three man uh, save. Yeah, Ooh. I think I think that's what we're seeing here. These survivors either talking out or whatnot, kind of determining what the best yeah. course of action is. <gasps> you know what, though? Who needs an unhook when you got a deliverance <laughs> instead? That is, I, I'm hoping this is a DS combo. Uh, if he was able to do that and not even care about the result. Uh, where is everybody? Mm, yeah, he's just gonna wait out that DS. I would too. I would too. Yeah, she's just dancing. Like, I... <laughs> now the question is, is there a possibility of it being unbreakable instead? Ooh. And Ace using an exhaustion perk to their advantage. I'm just now looking to see if they need to push <laughs> out the Jake. And Jake will be pushed out of the match, leaving Zarina... Claudette and the ace who is still slugged out oh on the God. ground. You know what I'm thinking? What if this ace has soul guard? I don't know what, I don't know if we've seen on the perk on him. This could be soul guard as well. You never know. This would be a really it, good play. That's a. That's it is case. true. It is true. Could be the soul guard unbreakable. That is all three survivors out. Ooh. That just leaves the ace. He stopped. And looks oh. like he's now trying to get oh. up with maybe an unbreakable. This might be bait as well. There goes mm. the broken stats effect, and that there will be death to oh. the ace. So that will be the 1k for the Huntress. <laughs> Man, the amount of times I have seen a good unbreakable soul guard. Ooh. I've seen that before in, in on here, but... Man, th those perks could be fantastic for these cases like this. And yeah, no mm. doubt, no doubt. But with that being said, that there will be set number one mm. given to Modern Retro. An amazing match against the Huntress. And we'll be moving into set number two here in just a second where we'll be playing on the Suffocation Pit and seeing Ruby Wolves Plague. Oh. All right, Plague. Many names has Plague has gotten throughout the time she was introduced to the By the Light. <laughs> she, I don't know. I, I like to call it Plagu. I don't know about you. <laughs> Plagu? Oh, see, Plagu. I think we always go with uh, the Vami Mommy. The Vami Mommy, oh yeah. <laughs> 
But Ooh, with that being good. said, while we get this lobby set on up, we do want to remind everyone here that we are partnered with Stream for a Cause. They are a nonprofit organization based here in the United States who support a whole array of different causes from the Going Green initiatives to refugees in Ukraine to LGBTQA plus initiatives and a whole lot more. So that being said, if you are able to, definitely make sure to donate to Champions for a Cause, our fundraiser that we spun up with them. Them. And even better yet, by you donating to that, you do impact in some way, shape, or form the Championship of Champions prize pool in December, where the best of the best of Champions of the Fog will duke it out for the grand prize. With that being said, we'll see you in just a little bit.
<laughs> All right, and we are back for set number two, where the previous points do not matter. However, the match points <laughs> still do in some way, shape, or form, and it is a close one. Ruby Wolves 28 to Modern Retro 32, so the match point is anyone's game. Though this set is a clean slate, and let's see how the man, the myth, the legend, Slow does on the Vami Mommy, the plague for the Ruby Wolves. And we are jumping right on in on the suffocation pit. Mm-hmm. Oh man. I always found that little her weapon, I found that very, like, very classy for Plague when she first came out. Oh, that's so the fancy. incense holder. Yes, he just smacks people with that. No biggie, just smack him. <laughs> and I, I want to point out something here. This huh. is a nasty, yes. nasty forge, and there on the it uncorrupted is. side. So that is a boon to say the least for this killer here. And we'll have to see what the survivors are able to do to break into that forge end. I agree. Like, whenever I get this map, I'm always like, is there a gen in the middle? Please tell me there's a gen in the middle. If not, there's four gens on the one side. And exactly that. And we get ace. All right. Yeah, oh. there's that initial infection. I also want to point out in ah. that four gen, there is multiple corrupt purges ready and waiting for this killer. Oh and right. with two infections <laughs> here, they're going to be slowly but surely pushed into the plague's four gen in order to cleanse themselves. So this is a very strong position for this plague who has opted to bring two additional corrupt pools as well. Mm hmm yeah, she has a pretty strong area. You, you, I, I didn't even notice until you pointed out. That's a lot of fountains. So these, these guys are gonna have to like commit on do, I mean, obviously they have to, they only have gems on this side to work on. So she has no, no reason to leave this area for now. Makes yeah, sense. definitely left mm -hmm. it for a little bit. We saw Jake mm -hmm. there trying to crank out one of those four generators. Yeah. And we will see Aesir broken, the first entry to the match. And these survivors are now keenly aware of the perk, the Natophobia. Yep. That, you know what, I, I, as, as much as I, whenever I play Survivor and I go against, you know, Legion or Plague, and they, I see this perk, I'm, I, I can't be surprised. It's a good perk, so... Indeed, you know. indeed, and yeah. I want to point out something real quick. Mm -hmm. Really, really risky play there by the Jake. We saw Slow going for that mind game. Jake called oh. the bluff, and it did work out in their favor, but we see the Plague bringing up that corrupt purge and sees both the Ace and the Claudette, three survivors injured, and this could be a potential massacre in the making. Mm. Could be a snowball if they're not careful, that is. Because that, that, that vomit is very much long range, and the tiniest little pixel can get your ankle. So, gotta be careful with that. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah, the, the vomit physics are really on point, as strange as that sounds. And that there <laughs> yeah. will be a dead heart for the Claw Dead. Unfortunately, she will not be able to make it mm -mm. to the window in time. And that will be the first down of the match. The Natophobia going strong with four stacks yep. or 20% on the board as well. Wow, you know the, the fun part about her vomit is that you can actually do what, she, what a lot of plagues do is they, they just go side to side really fast and the and the, the vomit can go into a lot of places wide range even side to side not only ahead but side to side so that's a fun thing about plague but she can get you over top buildings even doll items if she aims properly that's really fun about her yeah, no, it really is a cool effect or weapon that the Plague has available to her. And we mm -hmm. do see a cleanse here by the Jake. I imagine attempting to go in for this unhooked Plague, going for the Corrupt Purge, though, to really put the pressure on these survivors, saying, all right, come get the unhook, I dare ya. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she only has one fountain on once on the, that side. So she, again, no reason to leave this area. She can protect the Forge and quite easily. Probably either three or four gen. She has a three gen safe as well, so she has a choice. Honestly, yeah, she's just gonna hang around here. I don't blame her. I mean, it, it makes sense here. You have someone yeah. on hook in your four gen. You're regressing them slowly but surely as you have yep. your corrupt purge in hand. We see that second stage primed and ready to go. And honestly, now she can even camp out to death without any issue whatsoever. However, oh, oh. survivors out of nowhere get in that gen in the back corner. That is a huge play there by the survivors, potentially game-changing uh, based on the outcome of this match. 
Wow, yeah, they were just like gens before friends, and you know what? That's fine because, like I said, four gen, it's still a three gen for her uh, on, the, on the table here. So she, again, she could just stay here and hang out. Oh, there he goes. I saw somebody jump up within the hill. Yeah, that there is the Zarina. That there Ooh. will be the down there. And I imagine they're going back for the Unhook. Here comes yep. the Jake. But one person by themselves does not make it possible for the Unhook. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Plague doing oh, a no. great job of body blocking here. Jake trying desperately to get the Unhook. Oh, but God. it is not going mm. to happen. And there's death. Oh, man. It, with one person, it's so hard to get that. It wow. really is, and with only one gen being completed so far, these survivors are in dire straits. Plague just waiting Ooh. for the Jake to be broken. Those arena has since been picked up. Mm-hmm, and I think I saw a light there, if, I, if my eyes were not wrong. Uh, I believe you yeah. were correct. Yeah. Really good play there. Ace now trying to crank out this gen. These survivors yeah. being very risky, being broken in this close proximity to the plague, but it is working out in their favor, to say the least. So far, oh, oh, nice window. She has, uh, she just point. She just thought that was rude, uh, Mr. Jake. Oh God. Mm. You know, Jake it. just saying, "Come on, come on, chase me now." <laughs> but I will say, I don't know if you heard what I heard, but that uh, there was the corruption of a bamboozle. Oh, you're right. That was. The, you know what? I was when I was looking at the perk up. I, I I always confuse that for um, what's the perk? Um, Spear of Fury. So I was yep, like, yep. I, I'm like. I was like, I that can't be Spear of Fury in, in this in this world. Then I thought, man, it has to be Bamboos with <laughs> Yeah, Spirit Fury in like the early days of comp was seen here and there, mm -hmm. like enduring Spirit Fury on like Billy, for example. Right. But at this point in time, ain't seen much anymore. Yep, so that makes a lot of sense. You know what? Bamboozle is actually could be very fun and scary on killers like 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 Leatherface, for example. That that even though it's, even though it's a taking for a surprise, it's kind of scary. It's really scary that that part. You don't see a no lot. Though. Oh, doubt, no doubt. But these survivors doing a great job. That is now a two-two split here. Things Ooh. were looking grim with that first death on hook, but we are seeing here them making a rally back, even though the arena mm -hmm. is now down on the ground. Oh yeah, these guys are doing pretty dang well at trying to break that four three gen. Well, that's a three gen now, I think. They did really well. No, it's a, now what's known as it's a 2-2 two, two yeah. split. So we yeah. have no three gens in the works. I mean, that survivors can commit to either side and get these last two gens completed. Yeah. Honestly, if I'm them, I'm looking just for one more gen to make yep. sure that even if they get the 4K, it's four gens completed. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now that they have it this way, like you said, whether they do a gen on one side or the other, they are pretty much safe. Oh, that's a fashion. <laughs> just just a little, just, just a little. A little. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Ace doing an amazing job dodging those hits, trying to make oh it God. so that the Jake has as much time available to them <laughs> as possible and that there will be another down for mm -hmm. this killer. It, it's hard to say what's going to happen here. Yeah. Uh, Jake has yet to go for the unhook. Oh, I, you mm -hmm. know, spoke a little bit too soon. But there like, will these survivors be able to get one last gen completed? Oh, I mean, it's very possible. One can be on one gen. And the other... Oh, that's a deliverance for sure, I think. Yeah, right? that yeah. is indeed. And that there will change the course of this entire match. Plague had a lot of good pressure going for them as they're always in chase with at least one survivor, one on hook. But now with Jake uh, or Ooh. Ace dead uh, deliverancing there, it does really <laughs> change the flow of the match. Also, did you notice uh, the broken status on Serena? Is that a renewal? If that is the case... Uh, uh, nope, it would no? not be renewal as they are fully infected. And, you know, these spires yeah. do know what killer they're playing against ahead of time. I'd be quite surprised True. if they brought a renewal. <laughs> yeah, uh, um, I am so dumb. I, you know, I, I, I cannot with myself right now. I cannot. <laughs> you're good. You're good. I forgot we're playing against a plague. Don't mind me, all right? I know how to play this game. No, I don't. <laughs> but that there will be another gen popped off. And I think the plague is in a bit of a dire situation here as they know that another gen on the other side of the map ha does have some good progress to it. I think this could potentially be five gens completed and potentially a one, if Ooh. not two man out. Yep, I agree. That's a one gen, and of course, it's pretty safe for them. To, like this chase is happening, that people, can, the other two, could be doing the gen 
to complete this match. So, as long as SSJ can keep this up, this fast, quick. Oh my god, look, yes, he, he has fast feet. He knows how to turn. Yeah, Ooh. they are doing a really good job here. Plague actually taking things very Ooh. passively to ensure that they do not get stunned out of their power. We see there, there however, Plague does get hit. Corrupt Purge is now gone and last gen completed. However, a no mm. way out with four stacks activated. Yep. That means that the Plague has 60 seconds of time Ooh. to do what they do best and down these survivors. Mm-hmm. Potential big old snowball here, but oh, pallet. Mm. This low air, this this middle area is so dangerous right now because the survivors can keep her here busy for a while. Yeah, we, we have not seen a lot of chases here in the jungle gym. And mm -hmm. because of that, they are going to have plenty of resources to work with. Even on this entire shack side too, just not a lot of chases happening here. Yep. And so Plague is definitely struggling here as a M1-115 killer. Oof. Wow, yeah, the, yeah, these these guys are doing well. They're doing well holding out. There's no way out. Oh, and the shot. Is your shot pallet still up? I think it is, right? It is. Yep, oh, there you go. Shot pallet is, and no way oh. out about <laughs> to expire. You know, Jake says, um, oh, wait, hold on one second. Hold my pallet. <laughs> hold my poodle. I got this. <laughs> and we go for the middle. Yeah, we're back in the middle. We do see a cleanse from the Zarina and mm -hmm. Jake back here in the struggle gym. However, that pallet has since been broken and Bamboozle gonna make it hard for Jake to maneuver around the area. However, they get back into LT wall and that there is the exit gate opened, a life Ooh. in play. Will Ooh. they have the distance they need? Wait. Oh, he was waiting for hatch. It's like, I out. think they're trying, but unfortunately yeah. Zarina's not out in time. Oh, hatch oh, opening no. just a little bit later. <laughs> And that will be the 2K for the plague. That would have been amazing, to be honest. Like, I saw how he was playing. He's like, get out, get out. <laughs> oh, no, not the vomit to the face. <laughs> you know, plague just uh, respecting what Jake was doing there. <laughs> uh, oh, Nordy. He's already that, dead. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an impressive game. Great job by the survivors getting the two men out. And that will be the 2K8 hook for the plague. And we are going to be switching time sides one last time. This time, Modern Retro will be killing. But instead of a plague, I, actually, sorry, we are seeing another plague. It's going to be a plague mm -hmm. mirror match. Uh, mm -hmm. Modern Retro will be responding kind for kind. And we will be getting this lobby set up in just a few moments. Excellent. But with that being said, guys, as always, before we do go on a quick break, do you want to remind you guys that you here, you, yes, you, the viewers are our sponsors today. Every ad that you watch, all the bits that you tip, all the subs that you buy, all go towards the production of Champions of the Fog and the $525 uh, $525 prize pool for these competitors. So with that being said, thank you for joining us today, and we'll be back in just a little bit.
All right, and we are back with the final trial of Ruby Wolves versus Modern Retro. And this is a close one to say the least. Tied match points right now, 46 to 46. And it is going to be a doozy of a match. The win conditions are in. And we're looking at Modern Retro's Killer going to be needing to get a 2K9 hook for a win, a 2K8 hook for a tie. And the survivors are able to get a two man out with Ooh. seven hooks in the game. That will be a win for them as well. So gonna be quite a intense match to say the least as we see Jukebox piloting the plague mm -hmm. and they see their first survivor of the trial. Oh, again, I, I, I just love her little, oh, her little weapon. I, I just, I'm just a cosmetic whore. Oh, they got the Miss Meg. Call it down. Okay. Right. So, we, how does, how is it corrupt? Was it on what, which side was it on? I did not pay attention. Was it I believe it there is, is. kind of split here and there. We uh, see one yep. corrupt there, one in middle, one shack side, but two infections for the plague very early on. So, a really good start here, even if the corrupt invention is oddly god awful. Usually on <laughs> uh, Suffocation Pit, it's usually pretty good, but with that middle yeah. spawn, it just did not end up well for them. Oh, no. Compared to last play game, yeah, this is pretty bad for a corrupt. Uh, a corrupt lockdown. They very much have this one open available, but actually she's expecting it. So I don't think she people. I'm surprised they're not breaking down one breakable walls in this little area. I mean, I can see why not. No, not wasting time. So yeah, um, not gonna do it unless they have to. Looks yep. like they are on the prowl for that ace, trying not to let them sit back all too easily. But A seemingly mm. evading the plague, but not oh. hiding out well enough and will get found out. Unfortunately, though, with that vault and mm. that breakable wall, Ace will life away into the oh. distance. Oh, she's like, ah, come at me. I have I have the Kool-Aid. Oh, that's one gen down. Right, yeah, first gen down. And these survivors oh. here both infected, however, oh. corrupt purge oh. and a down on one of them. So good first down here for the plague and good value out of that corrupt purge. I didn't hear it go down, did you? I, I heard that? like a, Ugh, but I oh, wasn't really? sure. I was like, what? <laughs> oh, was that the down that I looked and I checked? I'm like, oh yeah, they went down. I didn't even notice it until I saw the animation on the on the left hand corner of the of the, of the person. So I was like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah, like I said, all I heard was the little ooh. <laughs> that's Nancy. Na Nancy usually sounds like a like a like a like a her puppy. So that's why I was like, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Fair enough, fair enough. And I want to point out these survivors are keenly aware of now three perks in the match the Natophobia, Corrupt and Avenge, and last but not least, what the yep. ace will see there in a few moments is a pop goes the weasel. Mm -hmm. The yellow cloud of goodness for killers. Indeed, indeed. It looks like Jukebox oh. trying to guard oh. this unhook here, but Robin the Claudette coming out of nowhere oh, will well, get the unhook in time. But unfortunately, I think BT is out dead hard for distance. Did not drop the pallet, though. Really good uh, oh. patience there for the Nancy, but unfortunately going down over the pallet. Unfortunate, yeah. Ah. Yes, potentially? Let's see. No. Okay. No DS in play. Looks like the plague is going to be bringing them to the hook over here. That Ace a determining whether or not they're going to take a body okay. block, though. Hmm. I would. I would have. But maybe, maybe it would have been worth it, I guess. I thought, I thought the, the, the hill to go up the hill was on the other side. So I thought, oh, that might be a risky call. But never mind. They got a good hill side. Yeah, it was, it was a little bit greedy, I think. A little mm -hmm. bit, but not enough for it to really affect them in the long run. So that'll be the second hook of the game. And we do see the Meg get infected in some way, shape, or form. Could mean that they are on an infected gen or with mm -hmm. an infected survivor. Yep. Oh, that's miss. Oh, I'm glad I just, I just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> I didn't even hear her footsteps when she came for, footsteps when she came for that hook. She's just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it comes out of nowhere and then <laughs> sprint bursts away. Uh -huh. What we see here, the survivor on hook currently on second stage, only 30 seconds left. We do have that crop purge in hand, making this unhook oh. even more dangerous. And the down oh. on the Claudette at okay. range. I love how this player was like, I'm just going to vomit and turn around. I know I got her and 
that's exactly what happened. And if you notice that, she just threw her bomb. Oh, yeah. The... It, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it, it was definitely a cool guys don't look at explosions <laughs> moment for sure. Exactly. <laughs> that is the fun about play. You could just shoot that bomb and you know what? Just, I, you just know. <laughs> indeed, indeed. But one thing I also do know is I think we see a kinship in play I as agree. that hook timer has all but stopped. And that is a nightmare for this play. They had so much pressure going for them, but we saw the ace come on in and slow down that timer. They mm -hmm. only have a few moments left. And so Plague is either having to make a decision to protect the three gen or protect the hook. Oh, and no. we'll see where it pays and off. It's... And it's gone. And unfortunately, wow. that kinship did not buy him enough time, and that there will be the death for the Nancy. We're left with three survivors left. Hmm. Yeah, they, there's no three gen, I don't think, right? There's, well, there's two on that side so far that I see. Over there, there's two. There, there is three yeah. gen on the suffocation, suffocation. Yeah. pit side, and then two there gens is. here on Shack side. Plague, though, going over here to get the Corrupt Purge, it might be a little bit dangerous to mm. do so. And looks like Plague opting to kind of peek on in there into Shaq and now going back to here. But I think this may have been a little bit too much time if there are two or three survivors on a generator. Yep. I think they're going to be able to break up this three gen in just a few moments. I agree. This is a... They're, if they're doing this dead zone... Oh, there she is. There's Tonya. She's everywhere. Claudia. She's... <laughs> oh, 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 nice dodge. Amazing job there. Ducking underneath the vomit in an instant. We see mm -hmm. another survivor there on the left-hand side. Plague noticing it, but opting to go for this hill gen instead to just do a quick double check. And looks like they're going to try and get the down here, but will it be a little bit too late? Oh, in the face. Yeah, good hit there by the plague. Mm. Trying to box out this Meg here on this pallet. Meg trying to desperately not get hit by oh. ducking under the minecarts. And looks like that will yeah. not be no. a down. I thought it was hook, uh. line, and sinker, but that there will be the end of the crop purge and plague losing out on a lot of wow. value here. That was so. I'm pretty sure that even the Meg was like, huh! but hey, she got saved by the last little bit. Oh. Indeed, well indeed. We see the ace here now trying to crank out this gen. And bit by bit, these survivors are gaining value on these generators. Oh. And two infections back to back, both Claudette and Ace now infected. <laughs> oh, she's. I'm surprised. I'm surprised she didn't try. I mean, not that it matters, but at least not in this case, but like the, the dry kick. I'm surprised she didn't try at least doing something like that or kicking them away from there because they just kind of keep going back to it. Okay. Yeah, I but guess, the more yeah. that they work on that gen, the faster they will become infected, and the faster this plague yep. will be able to get them down. There's the sprint burst from the Claudette yep. once again, making great use of this distance. The question is, is the ace going to go back for the gen as well? Yep. Looks like he was. He was. And with enough time, this might mean an insta down for the plague incoming, but not fast mm. enough. Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, this this gen. Oh yeah. I would have hung up by this gem, but she, I, I understand she does need to take care of the others. Yeah, this is this is rough. I mean, they have Pop Goes the Weasel, but in order to get value from that, they first yep. need to get the down. Meg is not even close to being infected yet. Plague of a really late hit, though, will give Meg the distance she needs to get at a dodge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're. I'm assuming these guys. Yeah, they are. They're, if I was them, I would most likely go to the other side with all, looks like the, all the fountains on shack side so i would definitely go that way to cleanse and if she wants her power come and get it come to the other side if you dare so there you this, go this is actually very similar to a match we saw earlier today yeah. where it's going to end up in a three gen scenario mm -hmm. and where basically the plague is going to be able to force them to cleanse within True, their yeah. three gen if yep. they're able to do that, I think the play could bring this back in the end. But if they get a little bit too greedy and go out of position for the Corrupt Purge, as we saw here, it is possible yep. that survivors like the Ace we saw sneaking back here earlier might be able to get in for the gen pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the moment we want pops, anybody who pops one gen, yeah, look, these two gens are very progressive on both sides of this area, of this dead zone area. Ooh, 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 ooh. That yeah, is a you. good hit on the ace right there, and a nice yeah. dodge there, using these minecarts like a pro, <laughs> and trying to get the down, and unfortunately Ooh. will go down at the pallet plate, checking the gen. There's the mag. Is there enough time to get the hook, though? For the pop goes the weasel. Mm. We will wait and see. 
If this one person, maybe you might make it. This two, she might be able to complete that. Let's see. Oh! They got gen that on one. the okay. side. Meg unable to complete it. That gen is so close to being done. Oh. There's the bounce lightning as Balance. well. The hit on the Meg to boot. And here comes the pop goes the weasel to regress it by 20 seconds. And the vomit on it to get them all. I mean, they're all injured anyway, but it's still to get them sickened up. Oh, there's, there's still three gen over here. Okay, okay, okay. I yeah. thought they had broken it. Okay, cool. No, wow, not yet. Yeah, it she's... is a close one to say the least. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'm assuming these guys are planning to just 99 that one back there in the corner and try and get something progress. Yeah, she's. I think she has a pretty good protection right here. No reason to yeah, leave would... at all either. Yeah. I, I would tend to agree. I think you just focus on progressing this to the second stage. This is definitely mm -hmm. bait by the Meg. We see the Claudette oh, coming oh. in for the unhook. Plague boxing her out, however, will get her infected. But oh. Claudette trying to go for the unhook. Plague oh, no. taking the bait. And that will be the down of Claudette. So a one for one trade. Unfortunately, though, this does mean that there is another Pop Goes the yep. Weasel in the Plague's hand. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's for sure. Ooh. Oh, and yeah. Meg touched the gen to boot. Another 20 seconds off of this gen. This oh. could be the end of the survivor's time here in the realm. However, Claudette with the deliverance will mm -hmm. be to get a little bit of distance, but will it be worth it in the end? We're going to see. Claudia has been... She's staying nearby, unfortunately. There's no pallet whatsoever. And down she goes. Yeah, there's nothing for them at the moment right there. That air... Oh, except that pallet. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we, we, we saw Meg there. She's now going for the pickup on the Claudette as we speak. But Plague, knowing full well, will go back with the Corrupt Purge in hand. We'll try and get the Meg down here in a few moments. And there she is. Let's see, will this be another slug or is there an Unbreakable in play? Oh, that would be, be another game changer if the Claudette does have either of those. So, let's see. That's the only time will tell. Oh, oh. Oh my! Absolutely, <laughs> full charge vomit right there. Meg doing a great job trying to avoid the corrupt purge, but not good enough. This will result in slow going up on the hook. That is now officially six hooks into the game. Two more, and the plague will have tied the set. One more after that, and that will be the match. I agree. Yeah, Ace is the only one uh, <laughs> left to make up a make up a choice. Make a choice. Uh, excuse me. And then Claudette. Oh, Claudette. Oh, I thought she was on the hook for some reason. Because I saw the right around her. Okay. So there's two people. Never mind. There's two in the map. Potential landing here. I'm assuming... If she didn't use her pop for the one on the hit on the hill. I'm assuming it regressed greatly right by now. Yeah, that one there regressed by 40 seconds all in Shoot. all within those pop goes the weasels. And then 0.3% per second thereafter. So not a good situation to mm. say the least. Oh, but wow. This is only like 10, 15 seconds until the second stage, and that will be seven hooks. One more after that to tie the match. Yeah, this plague, this, she got a lot. Oh, I thought I heard it for a lot of progression for some reason. She was able to take reins back on this game, for sure. I thought, I, I thought because there were, remember there were two, this one right here and the one on this side were actually very progressed at some point. I don't know if you remember that. Yeah. So, yeah, survivors had the reins for a moment, and then she took it back. No, no doubt about that. The play doing an amazing, amazing job, to say the least. And that mm -hmm. there will be the progression second stage. That is seven. With one more stage progression, that'll be number eight. Yep. And that well, will not. be a tie match. These survivors oh, yeah. trying to do something, anything to bring the match and... back in their favor, but there ain't much that they can do. <laughs> a little bit of BM there on the hook to kind of say, no, I ain't letting you go. <laughs> You're mine. Yeah, that's just a three gen log for sure now. They finished that gen on the other side. So they just did. I'm assuming that was a gen for uh, completion for at least points or something. Yeah, that is exactly that. We will see the death hook, though. It is officially a tie set. One more hook here, and that will result in a win for Modern Retro. We Ooh. see the Z-Wall, once again, the most Not powerful the tile of the map. But <laughs> the ace will end yep. up going down, and with this hook here, Modern Retro will secure set number two. Wow.
I have to say, that was- Oh! Can, she, can he make this hook? I'm, this, this is gonna be dicey, I'm looking at I this, I'm like, so. ooh! Uh, oh, 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 I, I, yeah, I'm... Maybe even the last week. Oh, she made it, wow! Holy heck. Yeah, cause she Talk sees every hook. about a close mm. one. Mm-hmm. Alright. Okay, so we got... It's Claude. Claude has been... She is very good at just sneaking around, so she could... She could be on a gen. She could be... Oh, I think I said, never mind. I spoke too soon. Yeah, She's I mean, she, she was on a gen. You were she not was. wrong. But she was. now Claude is boxed out with a corrupt purge in the plague's hand. And oh. so this here is going to be the <gasps> swan song, or in case of the plague, the song, swan whispers. Mm hmm. Was that a calm spirit that I just heard? I, that, that I don't I... think so. I think it's just, you know, DBD doing DBD ah, things. Ah, it's DBD, all right. <laughs> now that you mentioned that, I have noticed some quiet vaulting in my games myself, and I don't make it quick, quick, and quiet, so that very much could be the case. <laughs> indeed, Samantha indeed. Wall. But with that being said, that there will be the end of hey, the match. So GG, well played to both teams. And congratulations to Model Retro for the win of set number two, as well as the match point. Mm -hmm. Very good game. Very good. And game. actually, looking yeah. back, that is actually the three point sweep. Set number one went to Mono Retro by four points. Set number two by looks like a, a more. The points are still getting calculated. And then the match final as well. So that there will be the end. And congratulations once again to Mono Retro for the 3.0 sweep. Hell yeah, that, they, that was a nice match to watch. All the matches today, to be honest. But this one was intense. So well done, oh, yeah. to everybody. Mm hmm. I, I want to say that every single one of our matches today of Plague have been such a yeah. cat and mouse game, to say the least. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I was say only I was I was only able to catch these two play games, but I do not. Uh, I don't doubt the fact that they were pretty intense. Play games can be interesting. Absolutely, absolutely. But mm -hmm. that there will be the end of today's matches. We'll be back again next Saturday at 12 p.m. CST for some more. That'll be the end of round number five next Saturday. But before we do go, Avi, if everyone <gasps> wanted to go say hi next time you go live, where would they find you? On this wonderful platform of Twitch, I am there. I'm not, I won't be streaming tonight, but I will be on tomorrow, Monday, at 7 p.m. PST. Maybe a little earlier, 6.30, but I will be there for DVD, actually. So if you'd like to come by and say hello, I will be delighted to meet you. So but have a good day after that, and thanks for the games, all of you having me today. Awesome, awesome. Of course, I am your Commissioner Guildspire, owner of Chambers of Fog, but I also stream some other games like the Elden Ring, where I am doing some no-hit challenges over there. I'll be live tomorrow at 7 p.m. CST and streaming some Dead by Daylight, some Elden Ring, and some Magic Gathering Arena. So definitely make sure to stop on by and say hi. But with that being said, we'll see y'all next week. Everybody take care. Bye-bye.